What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Wing Commander, Mission 2, Enyo System. Um, turns out I went on this whole rant about how awesome the dynamic soundtrack of Wing Commander was, considering when it came out, even now. And uh, somehow it didn't get recorded, so I'll talk about it some other time. But you know what I'm going to say already? You really do. Because in 1990, the biggest system that that I'm aware of that was in common use was like the NES and no kidding the Atari 2600 if I remember correctly like those were the two like biggest things um Sega Master was still it was kicking but like wasn't horribly common and I'm not sure if the 16-bit systems had come out yet but it was close to it there was nothing like this First off, nothing symphonic. Like, listen to this soundtrack as we go through. You're gonna hear some, like, John Williams level... Hmm, did I say that? Fuck it, I'll stick with it. Like, compositions, right? It's that memorable, it's that dynamic, it's that sophisticated, limited only by the hardware at the time, which they pushed the absolute limit. And that was like the Sound Blaster, the uh, Adlib, Gravis, uh, if you remember that, uh, and if you were super lucky back in the day, super, super lucky, and you had tons of money, and first enough to buy an IBM compatible PC, which is what they called it back then, um, and then some, you could buy the Roland, uh, was it MT, MT32, uh, which was insanity. It was like an external sound card, full MIDI monstrosity that required its own like PCI I, don't worry about it you can emulate it now with software but back then shit I mean it sounded great but I played on the sound blaster I think 1.5 or whatever which is why I'm still using this particular flavor of sound because that was I'm a bit of a music type I don't want to say musician but I do write stuff and record it and I do post it I will probably have more for you guys in that realm later on but the sound blaster uh, 1 1.5 2 i think a 16 had an fm synthesizer on board that chip that yamaha what was this ob oh uh, damn there's a chip on it i don't know it was a common with, it was common with uh, some yamaha actual synthesizer keyboards that were out being played in professional music in the day so probably still are so again you can emulate that with software now but back then it was that was pretty cool to have that like on board no shit frequency modulation synthesizer you know uh, now the Roland took it to a whole other level technically more sophisticated more complicated sound forms but like this sound blaster stuff is what I know kind of along the lines of like a I say it's, it's, I don't know if it's correct or not but it reminds me in timber like tonal con to, tonal traits of like maybe a psychogenesis maybe i know the different chips but they have that feel anyway let's get on with the game <clears throat> here you flew with spirit yesterday's else sure did she's quite a little thing mm -hmm. but she's a heck of a flyer she's rock steady follows orders don't file till she sure of her shot i was always glad to have a spirit on my wing when i was still flying yeah me too actually she's pretty great and she plays guitar not saying I'm interested, but Konnichiwa until he's son. Please take a seat. If I may say so, we you are doing quite well. Thank you very much. Based on the first mission, I would say so. Colonel Sama is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before him, though, honorable Saint Lieutenant. There's, the credit for a mission success is due to his leader, not his assistance. Although I beg to give beg to differ very strongly on that point, but I see by your expression that you do not believe me. That's <laughs> like she knows. I assure you, I speak. What I speak is in my heart. Now, you can be the best uh, leader in the world, but unless you got support, like if you're leading garbage, garbage in, garbage out. Know what I'm saying? So you need, you need, you can inspire people, inspire people to be better, but if it, if if they don't have the the skills, <coughs> you're paying the bills. Here's those, right? They call me honor, mate. Good day. He's Australian, if you uh, haven't gathered that yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Spear Deer was telling me about your tumble with the hairballs. Sounds like you really mixed it up out there. 
Castaway is an inmate. Just you and some hairball twisting about trying to get missile lock formations, uniforms, medals, women. That's all sheep did. All the Bruce can count on out there is himself and his missiles. Not sure if I agree. We'll talk more about him later, I'm sure. <clears throat> Compared to last mission, something else. <clears throat> Six. Epsilon Wing is Zilch and Spirit. You'll be escorting a Draymond class transport to a strength point. Computer display Epsilon. Man, I love escort missions, not. Huh? Let's take a look at your flight plan. Sorry about that. You'll escort it to nav point one. On to nav two, where it will. Once it's jumped out, you are. Remember, your job is to make sure that transport dumps out. I don't want you leaving her to chase down bogeys. <clears throat> Gee, that might be irrelevant. If the enemy retreats, you stay with the transport. Questions? Yes, sir. Why is Nav 1 so far out of the way? There's an asteroid field between Tiger's Claw and the jump. A fighter might navigate it, but a Draymond sport will never make it through. Anything else? All right, then. Let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. Here we are uh, on escort mission. You can tell the music has changed, and that's because we're on an escort mission. So there's like different mission types: strike, escort, patrol. You know, and they all have their own background too. I hate it when they do that. Get off him. Man, those, these Draymonds, uh, these transports, uh, they can't take shit. Slow down a little bit and have a look at them. Yeah, so these bitmap graphics, right? Um, kind of an interesting point, I think. Um, no uh, 3D wireframe models or anything like that. It's not real 3D graphics, even though it looks like it. Because they couldn't quite do that back then. At least when they made this game. Um, so what they did instead was they would make 2D bitmap images of uh, whatever spacecraft you're looking at. Uh, from whatever angle. From like as many angles as they could. So whatever angle you're looking at that hornet from, it will draw a 2D image of it, like at that angle. I'm not probably explaining that very well. Don't hit me, Spirit. Please don't. Don't. Thank you. There we go. Now we're just waiting for the Draymond. They're slow as shit. Notice enemy ships? Oh, me too. How about that? We have so much in common. What are you doing later? Um, oh. So what the Kilrathi uh, do is they will... For the time, pretty sophisticated. Um, they will taunt you and, like, take some pot shots and fly away from the Draymon while their wingmen go for the actual target. Um... Probably going on right now, by the way, so let me kill this guy real quick. And, uh, let's haul ass in this direction. The train is a white spot. Let's ta taunt this guy, because we can do that. Die for a ball. Taunting sometimes works. If they're attacking something you don't want them to, you can taunt them to hopefully bring them away from that target on you. 
Which makes me wonder about their encryption. <laughs> Probably not very great. Yeah, so it's like this game and uh, like Ace Combat or whatever. We can totally just all the communications are out in the open and you can hear everybody. It's like, dude, whoever's in charge of that needs to find a way to mass their communications from the enemy. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so he jumped out. Mission complete. Let's get the hell out of here. Now we could go back as uh, as suggested through <coughs> the most direct route, but I don't want to mess with the asteroids. So let's stop by nav point one. I don't, want to, I don't want to mess with it. Oh, see Spirit right there? See how she's smoking? And her ship too? Uh, like has debris, like sparks coming out of it. Like she's damaged. And I had never seen that before this game. So many like revolutionary, you know, components of gaming that we just kind of take for granted these days. This was the first game that I'm aware of to do a lot of them. On the way home. I'm gonna slow down just a bit. Communicate with Titan. Uh, never mind. Let's see if we get Spirit to go home. I humbly ask your apologies, but I cannot. Like, sometimes they'll go, sometimes they'll land, sometimes they won't. Depends how much damage they have, or like. Some other shit, I don't know. <coughs> Not much damage this time. None. Get away pretty clean, sir. Up till midnight. Good job out there, Zilch. Sport jumped right on schedule. You covered her well. Thank you, sir, but the spirit deserves as much credit as I do. Zilch's son is too kind, sir. I only blow it his way. At any rate, that was a nice point. Well, let's review the mission report. Zilch, you took out five, and Spirit struck out. The Draven Sport made its jump on schedule. And Zilch, I want you to see me in my office in a couple of hours. Uh, for what? Um, and that's all then dismissed. Come on in, I need to speak with you. <clears throat> yes, sir. I've been speaking with Sector Command. The Brass have been reviewing your record, and I have good news. The order came in this morning. I've been authorized to promote you. Woo! Congratulations, First Lieutenant, and Tilly's keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. We'll be leaving Enyo soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you in Scimitar Class Medium Fighter, the Blue Devil Squadron. I'll talk a lot about that here in a minute. Probably, uh, next mission. Yes, sir. I won't let you down. Blah, blah, blah. Good. I'm glad to hear it. That's all then. First Lieutenant, dismiss. And you get a medal. Woo! For meritorious conduct in confronting the kill the enemy in the Enyo system, honor about 2654.110. The Terran Confederation <coughs> excuse me, is proud to present the Bronze Star to First Lieutenant Antilles. Courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job, Zilch. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you beat the applause up here, fellows. Man, they're clapping like a crack. And that's it. I'm gonna save my game like so. And uh, this is gonna be where are we at? Uh, what's the second one? I think it's McAuliffe. Hmm. Right. So uh, that is going to be the end. Um, unbeknownst to me, it turns out uh, my uh, Shadow Play um, NVIDIA game capture, video capture software seems to have been dropping little bits here and there, including 
thankfully for you, uh, my 10 minute rant about how awesome dynamic soundtracks are and how this game changed at least what I thought was possible as far as like symphonic soundtracks, not only symphonic, but symphonic ones that adjust in real time according to what's actually going on in a high speed action game. So yeah, just imagine a really nerdy rant about that and you'd be good. Um, anyway, that's it for this mission. Uh, the last unfortunate, unfortunately the last mission, um, if you win the last mission in the Hornet, you only really get two of those if you're successful um, before switching over to the scimitars. Now, if you fail, usually because the Draymond gets shot down in the second mission, uh, you stay in the Hornet for a while longer. Um, but I don't think it's worth it to lose campaigns. I just, I just can't make myself do it for reasons I'll explain later. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stick around. I'm going to keep doing this hopefully for a while because it's quick and easy compared to my usual stuff. And um, good hunting out there.